Okay, welcome back, bogeys, to another episode. In this in this episode, we're going to be hopefully bleeding the brakes, which is great. And if we really get good time on the brakes and bleeding, we're going to try and fit the handbrake cable. So yeah, let's crack on. Okay, one of the first things we've got to do is tighten up the brake unions, which. Um, in hindsight, I should have done before putting the engine in. So I'm going to have one more attempt at trying to get to these, and if I can't do it, I'm going to try and get a jack under the engine and see if we can just lift the engine a bit um, by undoing the subframe mounts, which are just held in by pins now, um, because they're the sort of uh, quick-release ones, and then uh, crack on with that. Let's get these tightened up, and then we'll check the back unions all tight before we start thinking about bleeding it and filling it with fluid. Okay, that was a bit of a bugger, but I got to that one flat at a time, so that's good. So I just need to check, I think I've done all these. No, I didn't. So, get them tightened up, and then we'll, uh, we can double check all this once uh, we get, get a bit of pressure in there, we can check for leaks. Well, so much for this fantastic break episode. Um, just checking the unions as you just saw. And this one didn't look right, slight angle. And all of a sudden I felt it being a bit loose. And so basically, yeah, the thread has gone now in the compensator valve. Um, it's, it's got a bit of a thread further down, but because it's a brand new brake pipe, it's not crashing down. And so I think it's just not worth risking. <sighs> not worth risking the wife's life. Uh, yeah, so I'm either going to, I think the only way is to get a new compensator for the front there. Um, hopefully they're not too much, but yeah, that puts a scuff on me trying to bleed my brakes today. Ah, oh, annoying. Alright, well, all right, well, let's see if we can salvage this day. Um, so we've got the old cable there, handbrake cable that comes from the, the gear. Um, the handbrake cable under the floor into this um, little junction which then splits off and then you get the other cable. To be honest. I could just clean all that up, I think I would have wood and just use it, but as I've got a nice new project cambric cable to replace it, let's uh, clean this up, get it off, and then uh, fit the new one. Let's see if we can get the handbrake working at least. Okay, something's telling me in my head that I also need to feed in this, the main brake cable, that, the handbrake cable that goes in the subframe because um, the front subframe, uh, the front cable goes through this and then the rear one part goes underneath it. And I'm pretty sure that it's a bit trickier to get it actually in. Long, dangerous. So yeah, that goes in like so. And then the other cable goes through that hole. So as you can see, um, that bit cable is fine to get underneath it. But imagine that I had that cable in now. I have to feed this all under it to get in there. Um, so I think you can loosen it all off, but let's just do it now because it's just got to be done at the same time. Gonna stick a bit of grease on this now, just while I can get to it. And then the cable can get trapped underneath it. Lovely, yucky stuff. Got the CB grease out, and then let's try to put this together. Well, apart from getting the, the silly clip all the way down and over the uh, other part of the cable that went on all right. So, time to get under the car, try and feed it through the floor. Um, 
I'm actually take the rear wheels off because it's just going to be a hell of a lot easier because we've got to bleed them eventually once we uh, get them compensated. Okay, I just poked that up to the floor and what I'm just going to do is I'm put this clip back on that holds a little pad, there's a little pad that goes on it. I'm just going to wind the end of the uh, handbrake cable on because that will stop that pulling back through. Also just going to bolt the handbrake cable on, the handbrake on as well. Just to... And so yeah, that's good. And then we can just work on this bottom floor a bit underneath the previous arms. Okay, what we've got next, which I should have done these a little bit more once the radius arms are on, but I can get to them, is we've got brake quadrants, so they call them, it helps them, helps the brake cable go around 90 degrees down to the um, handbrake lever. So we need to grease this shaft up and slide it on, uh, put a little wash on the top, I think, and then we just put a split pin through, through the top, holds that in there. But yeah, get it all greased up, put some grease in all this. Um, it's one of these things where you get that handbrake cable in, it's all a bit arsey to start with until you get everything all tightened up, so we'll just do our best. Okay, got that one on, and um, what I had to do was jack up the radius arm to allow the angle, because otherwise the pivot, the rod, couldn't go through because it was hitting the subframe. So jacking the radius arm up brought the angle where I could get the actual pin in. Just to see if we can feed the handbrake cable through. And uh, onto the back here. Uh, it's going to be one of those evenings I just realised once it was under the car that I put this on the wrong way. Don't know why no one shouted it out, but obviously that's because I don't do it live. So basically, yeah, this was the handbrake cable's got to go around that way, but actually it was going to be like that. So I need to take it all off again, swap this back around so it's all right. Got to check these things, Matthew. Okay, let's try again, get it back on the car. Okay, I'm going to call it a night. I've got the rear connection on there. It's going around the quadrant and it's going through the subframe over to the middle section. I've now got to um, get it above the exhaust pipe and route the other side across and then try and pull that onto the thing, onto the quadrant and back round. But I'm just going to leave that to tomorrow. I can just feel today's just not going well. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, one of those days. Move on tomorrow.